Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world for our final lesson on geometry. We're going to use some of the concepts we've learned about similar and congruent triangles to prove other things in geometry. So I'm just going to go through one example on this video, and that's the example on the screen. So I'm going to use congruent triangles to show that if I have an isosceles triangle, then the line that bisects the angle at the top of the triangle, the apex bisects the base of that triangle. So let's start by drawing a diagram so we can make sense of all these words. So let's have this triangle here, and I know that it is isosceles. So we've got two equal sides. So this up here, the point there, is called the apex. So that's what it means in the diagram. So I need to draw a line that bisects the angle at this apex. Okay, so this is the bisector. Now, I w I'm also told in the question that it is the perpendicular bisector. So that means that this angle here and this angle here are 90 degrees. So what the question is asking me to do is say that this black line bisects the base of the isosceles triangle, which is this line here. So essentially what I'm being asked is to show that this line here equals that line there. Okay, now we know that it's true, but we need to prove this and use congruent triangles to prove it. So how I'm going to go about this is now I've got this perpendicular bisector, I have two triangles. I have one here and another one there. So if I show that these two triangles are congruent, then that means that all that there will be three pairs of equal sides. Now, I'll also note that this line here that I was talking about, this line here, they're corresponding sides of the triangles. So if the two triangles are congruent, then those two sides will be equal. So we first have to prove that the two triangles are congruent because those two sides will only be equal if the two triangles are congruent. So let's start off by doing this. So looking at triangle one and triangle two, what I'm going to do just to make things easier to name is I'm going to label this triangle A, B, C, and I'll call this one in the middle D. So I want to show that these two triangles are congruent. So, first thing I note is that I have two right angles here and here, okay? So those two angles are obviously equal to each other, so I just write that. I write angle ADB equals angle ADC, and they both equal 90 degrees. Now, the reason for this was given. I was told in the question that the bisector, the black line, was perpendicular, so those two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. So I've got one equal angle. I know that AB, this line, equals angle AC. That's just the pro properties of an isosceles triangle. So I'm just going to write equal sides, and I'm going to abbreviate it as isos triangle, okay? So good that we did that lesson on geometry a few lessons ago, just to remind ourselves of these properties. Okay, so that's an equal angle and an equal side. But to show congruence, I need a third thing. I need another equal angle or an equal side. Now, I can choose a couple of things here. I know that this angle and this angle will be equal to each other because they're base angles of an isosceles triangle, so I could use that. Or I could use the fact that AD is in both triangles, therefore it's going to be equal in length in both triangles. AD is common. Okay? So, then I've shown that these two, are, these two triangles are congruent, so therefore triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ADC, and I need to give the reason. Now, I've got two sides and one angle, so you might think, okay, it's SAS, but the thing is, I've got the two sides, but I don't have the angle between them, right? So, I can't call it SAS, but I do have a right angle. I have that the hypotenuse of each of these right angle triangles, triangle one and triangle two, I have that that is equal. So that's AB equaling AC. And I also have another side, which is AD. So the reason they're congruent is RHS. So now I've shown that they are congruent triangles. 
because this side and this side are corresponding, they must be equal. So therefore, I say that BD must equal DC, and they are corresponding, so I'm going to abbreviate, corresponding sides of congruent triangles, okay? And that's exactly what I set out to prove. So now I've shown that this line here cuts the line BC, this line here, cuts it in half because this side here, B to D, equals D to C. So I have in fact shown that the perpendicular bisector of the angle, this one here, bisects BC. So I'm done. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day.